I'm Frank Slavey. I'm a professor in the Department of Anatomy uh, here at the George Washington University School of Medicine. Uh, I've been teaching uh, gross anatomy here for over 30 years. When our son left for college, uh, uh, my wife and I um, took a trip to, uh, trying to think of it, uh, Glen Echo, and noticed that there was a store there that was selling glass pieces. And went into the store and found out that they actually provide instruction on how to make fused glass. And that was how we got started into this hobby of making fused glass. Pieces. We, uh, we have our um, art studio, so to speak, in our basement, which is unfinished. Uh, the interesting thing is that um, her per, uh, use of colors is different than mine. The kind of pieces that she likes to make is different than what I do. But what's nice about it, we get to work together. Uh, and talk about what we're trying to do. So it's, it's, a, it's, it's a nice uh, art uh, to get into simply because um, it's something that uh, takes a reasonable amount of time and it gets you involved in various aspects of uh, color. Uh, when it comes to art, I'm, uh, I'm most interested in colors. I find um, combinations of colors or the interplay of colors to be the most interesting thing in, in any sort of artistic piece. Um, when it comes to painting, for example, uh, I, I am most impressed with the Impressionists of the late 19th century. Pizarro, for me, is the artist of that era that created the most beautiful paintings. Uh, and uh, so that's, it was actually my liking of his work that got me interested in color theory and uh, led me ultimately to more uh, modern artists such as Gene Davis who uh, used his own intuition to create pieces where you get to look at how color, how the interplay of colors varies with the colors that are next to a particular color. This uh, piece piece as it is a, an attempt to reproduce using colored glass plates the same kind of colors that he put into a painting and basically what I did is I took one of his paintings and tried to match each individual color in the glass piece to match as closely as possible in his painting and then prepare uh, uh, but essentially did it in, in the fused glass form. In fused glass, you can buy glass from a company called Bullseye Glass Company. They make plates of glass, uh, I'd say about almost 10 dozen, in 10 dozen different colors. And in order to prepare this piece, I would cut a little strip of, of glass from an individual plate uh, and then line them up like this. And, uh, put them in a kiln and heat the glass to enough temperature that the individual pieces will fuse with each other, but only fuse to a, to a slight extent. And, uh, this is not maximal fusion, it's called a tack fuse. I just wanted to see what his color field, because that's what he called these pieces, would look like in a glass format as opposed to a paint. Previous submissions have been, um, again, glass kiln form glass pieces, mainly plates. Um, uh, and like this year I wanted to do something that was, was different from what I've done in the past. When my wife and I started doing kiln form glass, that just got me interested for the first time in my life in art. And uh, ever since then, in some cases, we've sold some glass pieces, 
but I thought it would be nice uh, for me to exhibit some of the glass pieces here. Um, actually, one year I prepared two or three glass plates, and uh, some students told me they liked it as much. I submitted them for the uh, auction, the glass auction. It's made uh, to my life personally much more interesting. Uh, it, it's true, I've been interested in science since I was in junior high school. Um, I really don't have any talent for drawing, uh, and I guess that's what uh, drew me away from trying to do anything in art. And uh, now, actually, I'm trying to transition to some extent from working with kiln form glass to also doing some oil painting. And what I'm going to actually try to do is to mimic as much as I can the uh, techniques and theory that Pizarro used in creating his 